I didn't get this sprayed back here this year. I'm almost running around spraying around up here and there. So, but I got two plows buried in here. They've been for sale for five or six years. Last time I advertised them, I put 500 bucks for best offer. They're still here. Uh, this one's a 618 on land. The other's a 516 semi mount. And then there's that old traveler. Only thing worth anything on that's the gun. That's still worth a couple hundred bucks. Hundred and a half at least for a used one. So I think the gun's gonna come off. We gotta take the hose off and take the hydraulic motor off because we'll keep it. And the hose is still good. The rest of it's gonna go. And uh, there's the manure spreader that's gonna go. It's got a buggered up gearbox, buggered up frame. Apparently the shear pin didn't go, people that had it. And it did a little floor damage. You know, it needs almost all new beaters and any of you bought those. I mean, these actually aren't in too bad a shape, but I'm not going to take them off. Um, we replaced them on the, the other New Holland a year ago. But all this is froze up. It ain't worth it. Tires are buggered now after setting. I'll keep that harrow. That's going to find its way on the back of the big disc, I think. So. But, and yeah, I got more tires. Uh, most of these are still usable. Some of them aren't. There's a set right there in the middle. Those are 1020s on eight hole buds. Came off a six by or a four by four truck and some wagon wheels next to it. They come off a honey wagon and yeah, I don't mind keeping good truck tires around. I just wish I had a better spot to keep them. So anyway, that's how my morning's starting. It's uh, well, about quarter to six. Made most of my rounds. It was raining when I got up. Done by the time I came out, and that's fine. The ground feels pretty good out here. It had yesterday to dry, and I think we only just got a couple little showers overnight. But I moved this thing. And hopefully, I can drag that big plow out. I know I can't lift it with a skid steer. Been there before. And the other one, I think I can lift. I lift it enough to get it out of there. And we're going to have to do a little quick cutting on those. Kind of hate to. But, like I said, can't get rid of them. Can't even give them away. So, in the scrap they'll go. I'm still kind of stuck on what to do with some stuff here, though. Because... The chain for that spreader is in pretty decent shape. It's all rusted from sitting, but it's in pretty decent shape. And the slop gate's there. Yeah, it would be nice to put that slop gate on our big spreader, the New Holland. It'll fit. It's one thing they made them the same width. Oh yeah, and there's brand new sides for it in those crates right there. I think those brand new sides will stay because I can still use those to patch the others. That's about all. Just means I gotta buy less material, you know. So, yeah, I gotta put those pieces up back over here. There's another one that matches them. I think you saw that last night. I can get some stuff out of the way again, though. Yeah, I don't know. Make me a phone call. I don't know what time they open in town. I don't know if they got somebody that answers the phone all the time or not. But hopefully I can get that box swapped out this morning. But I do really want that out of here. 
and you know I don't need that wheel we'll keep the harrow that's for the driveway and for tractor harrow and mainly that side hill over there where we can't get in with anything because we need to redo fences I don't think there's too much else hiding inside building now there still is over there but that won't take long oh and look little bottle baby as it can't suck because yesterday we found out he was busy trying to nurse on poor little grumpy in here I heard him when I was in the barn but I never saw him and a couple hours later number one says um we got a problem I don't know not really a problem he ain't getting nothing it's just a pacifier but she don't need that either Oh yeah, a couple chunks underneath there. If I can move that stuff, I can throw in too. Say good morning, Grumpy. She could look out the corner of her eye at us. All right, that's probably more than enough. Oh, that's six minutes. Maybe I'll show you what the end of the day ends up like. Hopefully we get another load of scrap out. Box? New box. That one would have been nice to have yesterday, but it is what it is. Either way, I'm going to get this one at least as full as that one, I hope. Hopefully, as much weight or more. The dumpster coming tomorrow for, well, they won't take the tires. They will take the inner tubes. And that plastic seat that was on that old Traveler. That Traveler at one point was hydraulic drive, went, moved like a skid steer. I'll take that shit. And that old spray tank. That old plastic barricade that's falling apart. The fiberglass floor out of that manure spreader. And I'll take that plastic barricade too. And that fiberglass tank over there. Yeah, a lot more room here to accumulate more stuff. Still more stuff to do, but for the most part right now, all the steel is in that box. I did not go through the PTO shafts and the hydraulic cylinders that are ahead of the dead cat skid steer in there uh that was that lifter we had went on the front of the swather yeah that'll go to the dumpster and that's the soft hose more of a soaker hose that was on that traveler that we just scrapped yeah. i'm done for the day just got the driveway straightened back up with the it's not, not perfect, but for the most part. And, uh, oh, we're going to get get rid of what we can get rid of. And working on trying to find an outfit to take all the tires to. I'll pick them up, but like the guy told my wife, yeah, cost you enough. You don't want us to do it. They'll even take them with... With wheels still on them, of course, you pay by the ton. A wheel weighs more than a tire. Huh. And then they're getting scrap metal price out of that, so they're getting paid twice for the rims. I don't think we'll do it that way. I think they'll get cut off or broke down one or the other. Oh, I forgot to clean this mess up back here. I better find a rake. At least get that out of the middle of the yard. That was all the leaves off the cherry tree that we're in with the bent up and two small a tea posts we got rid of. And I forgot a couple of other things, but little stuff I ain't going to worry about. So Anyway, that's the end of my day. Like and subscribe if you haven't, please. And uh, I'll get you more sometime. I still got to straighten the ground up back here too. But Right now I'm done been a day 80 freaking degrees 80 percent humidity i don't like this weather so thanks for watching